Hey guys, I'm Kaz. Welcome to my channel. Um, I'm going to show you how to crochet this pierced bear balaclava. Um, I know I'm very late to the tutorial, but thank you for your patience. So yeah, we're going to crochet the lime green bear balaclava together. I'm going to show you how to do it step by step. We're going to make it for a head circumference of around 54 to 56. If you want to do other sizes, I walk you through the calculations you need to do in my pattern, which you can buy in a zine format on my website. This is my crochet pattern. Um, it opens up so you can hang it up as a poster when you're done crocheting. And then you can just fold it back up and reuse it to make another bear balaclava. I'm not going to be showing you how to make the dangly earring, but it is in my pattern at the back. And there's like loads of diagrams. I'm just going to quickly show you. Um, but yeah, it like walks you through how to make the dangly earring. You can just use like a bit of string or something. Um, like there's so many different ways to do it. Uh, so yeah, let's get into it. You will need some super bulky velvet yarn for the main part of the balaclava and then a worsted weight acrylic yarn for the ribbing. I wasn't able to find a worsted weight lime colour in the yarn that I usually use so I'm going to try out um, two strands of this thinner yarn and see how it goes. For the main part of the balaclava I'm going to use a 10mm hook with the bulky yarn. The yarn actually recommends I use a 6mm hook but I prefer to size up so that the body is like less dense. Um, also using the velvet yarn for the ears I'm going to use a 4mm hook to make it more dense so the ears are like stiffer and stick up. For the ribbing I suggest you use a 5mm hook with the acrylic yarn but I actually ended up using a bigger size but you'll see that later. You will also need some jump rings for the earring. Um, I prefer to use closed jump rings but you can also use open ones and just like attach them on later. I like crocheting them into the actual ear though. Also get a couple of stitch markers to mark out where you want the eye hole to be. Uh, a pair of scissors to cut the yarn. A darning needle to sew on the ears and weave in the ends and a measuring tape. Yeah, that's all you need, I think. Okay, so using the 10 millimeter hook and the velvet yarn, make a magic circle. Um, if you don't know how to do this, there's loads of tutorials on YouTube. And also there's alternatives to making the magic circle. So if you find this part kind of hard, uh, there's definitely other ways to go about this. Once you have your magic circle ready, you will chain two and we're going to use a half double crochet for the entire balaclava. Um, so you will need to put in 12 half double crochets into the magic circle and I'm going to show you how to do a half double crochet here. Um, basically you put the yarn over once, put the hook into the magic circle, pull the yarn through and then there should be three loops on your hook and you're going to pull the yarn through all three and that is a half double crochet so yeah just repeat that 12 times um, making 12 half double crochets into the magic circle I'm going to do it super fast here so this is what you should end up with and I'm just going to make sure that there's definitely 12 half double crochets in there uh, you count these stitches here um, so just go ahead and count and make sure that you have 12 in there Once you're done counting, just make sure you've pulled enough yarn out through that last stitch so it doesn't come undone. And now you're going to pull the magic circle closed. Um, the easiest way to do this with this type of yarn I find is to push those stitches aside and then pull on that end bit of the yarn uh, very gently until one of those two strands in the middle of the magic circle gets short. You'll see it gets shorter there. And then you're going to grab onto the shorter part and gently pull on that to make this second longer strand get short. 
um sorry I'm probably explaining this really poorly but you can definitely find like other magic circle tutorials which would explain this way better um it can be kind of difficult to do the magic circle with this type of yarn but I've made so many of these bare ones that I've kind of gotten used to it so yeah this is what your balaclava should look like so far once you've closed up that magic circle and now you're just going to slip stitch into that first stitch to uh, close off the first round and that is your first round completed you're gonna chain two at the beginning of the second round and then you're going to put in a half double crochet increase a half double crochet half double crochet increase half double crochet and you're gonna repeat that six times uh, until you reach the last stitch so here I'm putting in a half double crochet increase into that next stitch and that basically means that you will be putting in two half double crochets into the same stitch Now I'm going again into the same stitch and putting in a half double crochet there and then the next stitch will just be one half double crochet and then after that you're going to do a half double crochet increase which is two half double crochets into the same stitch and then one half double crochet into the next stitch and just repeat that uh, until we finish the round. Okay, once you reach the end, you will put in a slip stitch into that first uh, chain two that you made, and that will close up the round. Okay, so at this point, uh, it's probably a good idea to just go around and count and make sure that you have the right number of stitches there and um, there should be 18 stitches in this second round so yeah just go ahead and count them okay time to start round three and you will always chain two at the beginning of each round now for this third row you're going to put in a half double crochet increase and then two half double crochets into the next two stitches. Half double crochet increase and two half double crochets. So here I'm putting in a half double crochet increase into that next stitch, which means two half double crochets into the same stitch. And then after that, you're gonna put in one half double crochet in the next stitch and another half double crochet into the next one. And basically you're gonna repeat this pattern six times until you reach the end. So half double crochet increase and then two half double crochets. So yeah, just repeat that six times all the way along the balaclava. Here I'm going to do it super fast. Okay, once you reach the end, you will slip stitch to join onto that first chain two that you made. And then chain two. And that is the end of your third row. It should start to have like this uh, curved kind of shape. Okay, so for the next round of increases, you will do a half double crochet increase into the next stitch and then three half double crochets. Half double crochet increase and three half double crochets. And you will repeat that six times around the perimeter of the balaclava until you reach the end. Um, at, by the end of this round, there should be 30 stitches. Oh, also there should have been 24 stitches in the last round, so um, I don't know if it's too late for me to tell you that, but just make sure that you have the right number of stitches. Here I am again, crocheting super fast. I wish I could crochet this fast in real life, to be honest, but I'm super slow. 
I actually used to do speed runs with myself, but then my wrist started hurting loads, so I had to stop doing that. Okay, so once you reach the end of that round, you're going to slip stitch to join like always. And then make a chain of two to start off the next round. Okay, so at this point I thought it would be a good idea to measure uh, the radius of the balaclava. Um, for this one I'm making the balaclava to be around 55 to 56 centimeter circumference. Um, if you want to make it other sizes, I have my pattern zine and it walks you through like the calculations you need to do. But basically for a 54 to 56 cm you need to get to 9 centimeters for the radius. And you can see here that um, it's not quite at 9 so I'm going to add another round of increases. The pattern for the next round of increases is a half double crochet increase into the next stitch and then 4 half double crochets and you're going to repeat that 6 times. Uh, by the end of this round, you should have 36 stitches. Once you've put in your half double crochet into the last stitch, you're going to slip stitch to join and then chain two. And I'm going to measure the balaclava again to see if it's reached nine centimeters. And uh, spoiler, it does. Okay, so now we're done with the increase rounds and we're just going to be putting in half double crochets into every stitch until the balaclava reaches like above your eyes or your eyebrows. Um, this is like the measurement uh, beta that's in my pattern. Um, but basically half double crochet in into every stitch, slip stitch to join and then chain two at the beginning of every round. Okay, so now I've just been half double crocheting, slip stitch, and chain twoing until I reached the top of my eyes. The measurement for this balaclava is around 15 centimeters. Uh, that just fits me best. But now you want to mark out with two stitch markers where you want the eye gap to be. Uh, just try it on and mark out the best spots. Once you've marked out the best spots, um, you will need to count the number of stitches between the two stitch markers um, not including the stitches with the stitch markers in them uh, so make sure that you place the stitch markers at the very edge of where you want the eye gap to be and then just go ahead and count the number of stitches and note it down somewhere Okay, time to crochet again. So you're going to chain two and half double crochet until you reach the first stitch marker. Okay, so once you reach the stitch marker, you're going to put in a half double crochet into the stitch with the stitch marker. And then the number of stitches you had counted between the two stitch markers, you're going to chain that number. And I like to add in one extra chain just because it gives a bit more room around the nose area and you can kind of like pull the mask down under your nose. Um, it just makes it a little bit stretchier and you can like pull it back up and stuff. So I like to do the number of stitches between the stitch markers and one extra chain. So here I'm just chaining the number of stitches between the stitch marker plus one. Uh, once you're done making your chain, you're going to put in a half double crochet into the stitch with the second stitch marker. And that is your eye gap created. Now just half double crochet until you reach the end of the round slip stitch to join and then chain two.
you're basically now going to continue with the half double crochets. Um, you're also going to be putting in a half double crochet into each of the chain stitches that you made earlier. Um, you can kind of see me struggling to put it into that first chain, but I do eventually get it. Yeah, I was I was seriously struggling with the first chain, but I got it here, and then the rest of the chains were easy. Um, but yeah, just put in a half double crochet into each of those chains, and then continue to half double crochet to the end of the round, slip stitch to join, and then chain two. Here I've reached the end of the round and uh, once you've slip stitched to join and chain two I'm going to show you what the balaclava should look like so far. Um, basically from now you're just going to be putting in a half double crochet into each of these stitches, uh, slip stitch to join and chain two until you reach the your chain basically. So here I have half double crocheted until I reach the length that I wanted my balaclava to be and it's the gamma measurement in my pattern. Now we're going to attach a ribbing to the bottom of the balaclava. Um, I like to add a ribbing just because I like the cinched in look, uh, like the tighter fit. Um, but if you wanted to just keep going with this and have a loose fitting balaclava that's totally fine as well. For this balaclava I'm using two strands of this acrylic yarn. Uh, I haven't made a ribbing with two strands before. I usually use the Amigo XL and a 5mm hook. Uh, I'm going to show you this part because I thought it would work with the 5mm hook here, um, but I ended up crocheting like a good bit of the ribbing and it was just a bit too dense uh, with the two uh, strands of the yarn and the 5mm hook so I ended up undoing all of that. In my pattern zine I give you two recommendations for the velvet yarn and the acrylic yarn and all the hook sizes and it will basically work out perfect each time because I have tried at various combos and um, that one is the one that works best each time but I thought I'd leave in this part because um, there is a lot of trial and error involved and this was my first time trying two strands of yarn so I just wanted to show that like if you don't have the exact recommendations I suggest in my pattern you can still make the balaclava with different size yarns and hooks. I decided to go for a 6mm hook. Um, I feel like that would work better and make it less dense especially when there's two strands involved. I had initially chained 13 but I think I'm going to reduce the number of chains. So starting the ribbing again, you want to attach the yarn to the base of the balaclava and then chain 10. Well, that's the amount of chains I'm doing here, but you can make your ribbing longer or shorter. Um, just make sure you add an extra chain at the end. So here I have 10 chains and I'm going to chain an extra one. The extra chain is basically going to make sure that there's a nice edge at the bottom of the ribbing. Um, now you will go back and put in a single crochet starting at the second chain. So skip that first chain and go into the second chain and just put in 10 single crochets into each chain. Once you have done that, this is what your ribbing should look like so far. Um, the next step is to slip stitch into the next stitch on the base of your balaclava. So the next stitch after where you had attached the yarn initially. Now your ribbing is attached to your balaclava. After that you will chain one and then turn your work. After you turn your work you're going to go back into each of those 10 stitches and put in a single crochet but you're going to go into the back loop only. Once you're done with the 10 single crochets, you're going to chain one and turn your work and then repeat the same. So 
10 single crochets all along the ribbing uh, going into the back loop only and then once you reach the end you're going to slip stitch into the next stitch on the base of your balaclava chain one and turn your work so you're basically going to be putting in a single crochet into the back loop only up and down the ribbing all the way along the base of the balaclava um, it's a good idea to count the number of stitches you have every now and again just to make sure that you haven't lost any I used to lose a lot when I first started out but um, I make sure to count them now uh, so far the ribbing feels a lot better than when I had tried to do it with the 5mm hook um, I think with the two strands the 6mm definitely makes it like less dense and way stretchier um, the ribbing is definitely like the most time consuming and tedious part of the balaclava and takes the longest as well so if you're using yarns other than what I've recommended there will definitely be a lot of trial and error in getting the ribbing right so yeah don't be afraid to try out different combinations of hooks and yarns I've definitely undone a lot of hours of work because sometimes I would make the ribbing too tight or too loose I don't know if there is a foolproof way to get the ribbing right every single time maybe there is and I'm just like missing out on that secret but anyways I figured out the best combination for you guys and it's in my pattern okay so now I'm gonna show you how to decrease the ribbing stitch so if you want like an even tighter fit um, basically you will slip stitch into the next stitch as usual and then after that you're going to slip stitch into another stitch on the base of your balaclava so instead of just slip stitching into one you're going to slip stitch into the next two stitches on the base of your balaclava and that basically will mean that there is one less ribbing along the base if that makes sense and it kind of like cinches in the balaclava even more if you use all the combinations of yarns and hooks in my pattern um, I do this slip stitching into two stitches six times throughout the base but it will be very different if you use different yarns so now you just uh, go back up and put in 10 single crochets as usual into the back loop only and this is what your ribbing will look like uh, at the base of your balaclava the two stitches will kind of merge into one to create one ribbing and whereas the other stitches all have one ribbing each and that's just gonna like make it a bit tighter on the bottom so yeah just go ahead and put in a ribbing stitch all along the base of the balaclava uh, if you're using yarns different to what I recommend you will have to mess around a bit and figure out how many times you will be slip stitching into the next two stitches instead of one but um yeah good luck with that this is what the ribbing should look like after you have gone all the way around I think I ended up uh, slip stitching into the next two stitches around nine times with this balaclava and then I just slip stitched to join the two ends together but you can also just sew it together uh, completely up to you okay for the ear I'm using a four millimeter hook and you can start the ear off with a magic circle but I decided to go for a slip knot for this one um, I'm not sure why I did that but here we are um, once you've made your slip knot uh, you will chain two and then put in six half double crochets into that first chain Using a small hook with the bulky velvet yarn is pretty difficult, like you literally cannot see what you're doing at all, but um, yeah, just try to put in six half double crochets. I usually am just kind of doing this blindly because I you literally cannot see what you're doing there at all. Uh, but yeah, try to put in six half double crochets in there. And then after that you will chain two and turn your work and once you've turned your work you're going to put in two half double crochets so a half double crochet increase into each of the six half double crochet stitches that you made 
so I'm putting in two half double crochets into the same stitch six times. Again, like it's it's pretty impossible to see what you're doing here, but um, I guess try to evenly distribute six half double crochet increases in this next round. You should have 12 stitches by the end of this, but um, I don't think you can really count them. Maybe you can. You can kind of see them. Once you reach the end, you're going to chain two and turn your work. And the next row will be half double crochet increase, half double crochet, half double crochet increase, half double crochet. Uh, by the end of this round, you should have 18 stitches. So just repeat half double crochet increase and half double crochet six times in on this round. Once you reach the end, you're going to chain two and turn your work. And uh, here I was just talking about how you can kind of see the stitches now. There should be 18 stitches there, I think, by the end of this round. Um, so if you want to count those, go ahead. But the pattern for the next uh, row is half double crochet increase and then two half double crochets. Um, it's kind of similar to one of the rounds in the increase round for the balaclava. But yeah, repeat that pattern six times and then once you reach the end, you will chain one and turn your work. Uh, for this final round, I like to do a single crochet just because that's the size of the ear I like. I'm also going to crochet these uh, closed jump rings into the ear. So the first stitch you're going to put in a single crochet increase. So two single crochets into the same stitch. And then there will be three single crochets next. But into that next single crochet is where I'm going to attach the closed jump ring. And that's going to be like the hoop earring. I'm going to show you how to do that here. Um, you just slide it onto your crochet hook and then slide that onto the stitch. And then you continue on with your single crochet into the next stitch. And you have just crocheted a closed jump ring into a crochet bare ear forever. And now I'm just doing the same with the second uh, jump ring onto the third single crochet. Oh, that's so embarrassing. I just dropped it. Um, anyways, you will put this jump ring onto the third single crochet and then the next stitch is a single crochet increase. So two single crochets into the same stitch and you will repeat that pattern. So single crochet increase, three single crochet, single crochet increase six times until you reach the end and that will be the end of the ear. Okay, time to cut off the yarn because your bare ear is ready. And there you have it, there is your pierced bare ear. If you don't want to use the closed jump rings, um, you can definitely just get open ones and then just attach them on afterwards. Uh, I like using the closed ones sometimes, but it can be hard to get a hold of the right size and the gold. So every now and again, I will use an open one. But yeah, it's completely up to you. Uh, at this point, you can weave in your ends using the darning needle. Um, just kind of like weave it into the ear somewhere to hide the yarn. Okay, this part is definitely a lot easier with a mannequin head, but you can just put it on your own head and attach the ears with some stitch markers. I like to place them in this kind of curved formation. I think it just looks way cuter, but yeah, once you figure out where you want to put them, just sew them on. I wanted to add this clip in at the end just to show you the difference between the two balaclavas. With the lime green one I used a thicker yarn and a 10mm hook and the brown one is a 7mm hook and a thinner velvet yarn. 
The ribbings ended up being different as well because with the brown I used the Amigo yarn and a 5mm hook and then the green one I used the two strands and the 6mm. This is what the finished balaclava looks like on. Um, I really like this colour. I think I am definitely going to be keeping one of these for myself. Um, let me know if you want any more tutorials or like maybe I can start doing vlogs. I actually don't know if I can handle doing vlogs to be honest. But yeah, let me know if you want any more tutorials. And I was thinking about doing the one for the bubble bunny because um, the pattern for that is essentially the same. It's just using the pom-pom yarn that's a bit hard. But I can try to film it and show you guys like even when i'm working with it it's kind of impossible to see what i'm doing but maybe i can figure something out um yeah i have a lot more crochet balaclavas and other projects in mind i just haven't been crocheting that much recently um i needed to like take a break thank you so much for watching and for your support i love you guys so much can't wait to see all of you make your own bare balaclavas and yeah, goodbye.